Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time come across the channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, if it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe. It's Mix from the Mal Mix Creation TV. Yes, we talk about a lot of opportunities. We talk about jobs in the Gulf countries and definitely talk about jobs in Qatar for people in Qatar. Right now, you'll agree with me, uh, most companies are a little bit stuck up. Most of you in those companies and you definitely know what I mean. Some of the companies right now are laying off workers or are giving workers what you call forced vacations. I know some of you, you might have heard this. You might have not expected this to happen before or even at one moment of time that we can have a recession in the jobs or we can have this kind of uh, situation coming in at one moment of time. Before, what we used to see, we used to see that you normally had to complete what you call your two years. After completing your two years according to the agreement or according to the contract that you sign with that company, then you can get the vacation in one way or another. But now companies are forcing people to go for vacations even if when they have not completed what you call the two years. Some have a few months to go. But what I have to let you know right now is that most of the companies do not have what we call the contracts and they have what we call excess workers at one or other. So what they would think of doing at that time is to, to, to give some people vacation to go and that's what we call forced vacations. Yes, it may not be the right time for you to go for that vacation. But what, what brings back in your mind is that it just tells you or warns you that every single moment of time you have to be a little bit very careful and plan or what you call you need to plan yourself uh, again in a single day of say at one moment of time yes why all this coming and uh, what would i want to share with you is about the contracts yes i know most of you you are there but you do not know the type of the contracts that you signed with the company yes if you feel you don't know the type of the contract to sign with the company, just go to the government website. Just go to the website. The good thing that we have with here in the Gulf countries or what we have in Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, anywhere, you can access some of these official documents online. So go to that website, website, look for that contract. Just type in your residence permit number and your mobile number. If it is a same mobile number that was registered, upload that contract, look at that contract and see what the contract says. You may think you are in two-year contract, but actually what is in on the ministry website, what is the associated copy of the contract to the ministry is the unlimited contract of five years. Meaning that you have an agreement with that company or that company or that sponsor for five years. What does it mean? That in that case of situation, he has over more rights over than you can imagine at one moment. He can block you to change to a new company. For you, you want to change. Definitely, you need either to first complete of the five years or you need to exit outside the country, then after you can return on a fresh visa, after being cancelled out, then you can get a new visa to come into the country as that. So, it is to the newcomers and even those old comers, you are out in the city, but you do not even know the type of the contract that you have with that employer. What are your rights in that contract? And what are the rights of the employer in that contract? So it's always very, very important for you to check that contract. Download the copy. Check the contract. See what the contract says before you think of changing, before you go think of going somewhere, before you think of anything that you want to do. Either you want to follow the pursuit of the law, or you want to go against the law, or you want to complain about your employer, go and check what the contract says. So that when you try to engage in your grievances to that employer or to that sponsor, you have a point where to start from. But it's so sad that you wake up 
to do whatever you do, but you don't even know the copy of the contract. You don't know what is in the terms of that contract. That is the asserted copy. They will ask you, did you read the asserted copy? You say no. Why? Because you don't download the copy and get the copies for free of charge. So normally, what happens, I have to let you know. We have false vacations, yes. If the company is buying for you a ticket to one flu, yes, take it. Because if you don't take it in the government, the company will force you to take it annually, which will still not benefit. But look at a situation in this situation that the company is giving you a, a return ticket. Yes, take it and come back. But something still I need to let you know, or something that I still need to let, let you know or warn you, is that make sure as you move out of the country, your residence permit at least is valid for six months. Remember, when you go out of the country and you spend six months, for you to return into the country, you will need what we call an exception permit. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max Creation TV. Life as the way it's us. Anything that you need to know, please don't hesitate. Get in the comment section. Tap in. Put a question. I'll always be able or always, always get back to you. If you see there's something that you can use, please get to my TikTok account at Max Creation TV. Also turn into my other channel, which is Malcolm Max TV. I'll definitely give you the best. Thank you so much again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation TV.